What are we doing, Ma? Where are we going? Freestone. Firestone tires. <laughs> oh, is this where is it at? What state? Texas. Texas. When do we have to be there? Tomorrow. Are we gonna drive all night? Probably. Just left Daytona. Went to Georgia. Now we're headed to Texas. And we'll I'm be tired. there for about a week or two, or a week and a half, something like that. <coughs> yep. I'm gonna go talk to Kevin. Okay. Where are we going? Freestone. My face. Morning. You got? Are you, are you doing this right now? Yep. This is La Folla Roads. So, Very where did we make it to last night? And tell us about the everything that happened last night. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's see. We left Daytona yesterday morning. <clears throat> drove to GPF to take care of some stuff, and then we left GPF at what? Six o'clock, five o'clock. Drove to I drove till I don't know when. Casey drove till when? I drove till one o'clock. I drove to about midnight. About twelve o'clock, and then I drove to about five o'clock this morning. We're in Texas. We're about two hours away from Freestone, and we should be at Freestone here pretty soon. But how many times? How many times did it take us to find a place to stop? Okay. Oh, very interesting. So we stopped at a rest area. No place to stop. Then we stopped at a uh, truck stop. It was super sketchy. No place to stop. No place to sleep. There was no room. Nope. So we left there, went to a Cracker Barrel. You can't get in it with a big truck. It don't allow big trucks or RVs. So Ugh. we had to U-turn in the highway, back out in the highway, mm -hmm. left there, and then went to a truck stop that when you pull in the fuel pumps, you have to back back out of them. So I went in. And we had to turn around and get out of that place. And about five o'clock this morning, we found where we are right now. And this? And I'm spent. And I'm spent. And I'm because spent. Because this right here, when you travel, it's like an airplane. Everything moves. All right, Mom. So it fell out. So now I'm having to put you it back in. Gotta put your helmet on when you open you the door. Gotta put it back in. All this is the dishes. So well, there was a rooster last night too, wasn't there? Or it was something? a rooster. You know, it people, was a, it was a scary rooster. It sounded really weird. It was kind of creeping me out. Some people understand. I didn't hear a rooster. This, but people under, who who don't travel in an RV don't. But the glamour thing is, when you stop to sleep, you have to rearrange everything so that you can sleep. Okay, well. So we finally get everything arranged to sleep, and I get comfortable, and then there's a rooster. Oh yeah. At a at a, at a truck stop. Well, I woke up a couple of times last night going through the whoop section of Louisiana. Yeah. And I was worried about the trailer. <laughs> and, the and the fact the, that it all stayed trailer. up and nothing fell, it's a good day. That, you know what that's called? Hang on. Get you one. Well, on the Freestone, we'll be there in about two and a half hours. And uh, stay tuned. Yeehaw, we just stopped to get some gas and we got some Texas best smokehouse. Look, there's even smoke coming from the house. That's why they call it a smokehouse. I'm condition yourself. What'd you get? A brisket? I got a free brisket sandwich. That's you know what you know what that's called, right? Favorite swag. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mom got her a set. What did you get? I got chicken salad. Said it was the best ever, so I've got that. And I got a chocolate chocolate fried yeah, we pie. Chocolate it up. fried pie. We, we got like a chocolate pie, an apple pie, and peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Yeah. I'm definitely winning this week. Yeah. <laughs> and I got me a, I got me a chicken sandwich though with some mac and cheese and a potato. 
Now we're back on the road. We're almost to Freestone. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Whoop, whoop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. We're pulling in to Freestone County Raceway. My vlogger's driving. All right, so here we are at Freestone on Wednesday. Sorry for the delay. I kind of forgot to vlog and got a little busy. But it's Wednesday. It's almost 7 o'clock, actually. The racing is going super late. Church is supposed to be at 6.45. And uh, so that's obviously pushed back a little bit. So that'll be the next thing you'll see, I guess, is church. So um, pretty nice day out here. A little late, the sun is going down. It's really bright. Out here in Texas. There's your Texas flag. Alright, guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Who likens God to our Heavenly Father? He is called our Heavenly Father. There's a reason God likens Himself because He puts us in a relationship with Him. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 9, it says, Which one of you? If you asked your son for bread, you would give him a stone. Or if he asked for a fish, you would give him a snake. It says, or if you, then being evil, meaning not holy as he is, when he says, you being not holy as he is, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more would your Father in heaven give good gifts to those that ask? How much more would your Father in heaven give good gifts to those that ask? So you understand why people feel, you know, the devil wants people to feel like, well, I don't need to ask. It's not a big enough problem. You know, it's just not something I need to talk to God about. But God is wanting you to talk to him about everything. Because it says, for everyone who asks for something, it says, how much more would your Father in heaven get good gifts to those who ask? to the humble. So by praying, we are humbling ourselves to something bigger than us. But what happens is people say, well, I prayed about this and it never really happened. Well, you know, the point is you and I need to seek God and then pray. You know, a lot of times, not just about things, about family, about anything in life, we need to seek God and pray about that thing, whatever it is, you know. But what happens is people say, well, I prayed for this and it just never happened. And so, you know, I don't, I don't know about that praying stuff. Well, did you, I mean, what you do? Just pray some random thing? You know, you seek God. Where does God lead you to pray? You know, and you wonder why things are yes. That was great. It was great. Had a good time. Learned. You're on the vlog, bro. Thanks. What's the vlog's the, name? The first Colombian on the vlog. What's the vlog's name? The next to Jesus. Oh, that's We're vlogging our trips. That's really cool. And the events and everything. I'm Julio. That's Julio. Hey, Chase. How was church? It was awesome. How was church? I don't know your name. I love it. Church is awesome. It's always awesome. Every big national, they're here, and it's always a always a blessing to be here. I was church. Church was awesome, and I'm hungry and tired. Our church was good. Mom, what do you think about the sunset over there? It's beautiful. The sunset's beautiful. Beautiful. How was church? It was good. We had fun. That's it. That's it. Oh, I'm going. Dude. 
the uh, Coma Pod. Second, Jesse Plot, your champ, Parker Mashburn. Put him up high, guys. Whoa. Congratulations. So, are we recording? Yep. Hi. We've got a top nine, top ten finisher right here. Yep. What do you think, Kevin? Good job. We're very happy for this boy. He's doing good. Congratulations, my son. Spanx. Well, headed back from Freestone. It was a long week, but it was a good week. It was a windy week. What do you think? How was your week? It was good. So, I had a little crash. I was in ministry, which is what's important. Everything went good. We had a good time. We had a lot of people at church. And got to talk to a lot of people, pray with a lot of people, which is the reason why this rig grows down the road. So, it was a good week. We're all a little tired and ready to have some in and out burgers for lunch. Yeah, that's where this is taking us right now, is in and out Burger. Yeah, it's Daytona, Freestone. So we're a little, a little tired after two weeks of racing here, but it's always a good time. Um, sorry I kind of slacked on vlogging a little bit. I kind of, it's kind of a busy week and I kept kind of forgetting, which is not good. But I think I got a pretty good bit of vlog. Uh, videos for the vlog, so I guess we'll see. 